The spread over recent years of readily accessible and easy to use remote controlled aircraft has alerted governments around the world to their potential dangers. Consequently, a rush to develop counter drone technologies is now underway following a spate of recent incidents that have included the overflight of nuclear power stations in France, the landing of a quadcopter on the White House lawn, the buzzing of German Chancellor Angela Merkel at an election rally, and the near misses of drones and aircraft at a number of international airports. In the United Kingdom, the government is addressing counter drone technology as part of a wider strategy of unmanned systems that it plans shortly. Running concurrent to the work of the UK government, the French government is also looking at the issue with its Angelus programme. This project is geared at detecting, identifying, classifying and neutralising rogue drones for a number of national agencies. Major defence companies engaged in developing counter drone technology include Airbus Defence and Space, Boeing, Israel Aerospace Industries, Lockheed Martin, Raphael, Saab and Celex ES among others. For Airbus Defence and Space, its system utilises sensor data from the company's Spexa 500 AESA radar in conjunction with an infrared camera and detection finder to detect and, and track illicit UAVs at ranges of between 5 and 10 kilometres before a multi-role jammer neutralises it. Boeing revealed its 2 kilowatt, 10 kilowatt laser solution in October 2015. This system combines plug and play radar and electro-optical systems to detect and track the UAV with a laser striking the target out to about 10 kilometers. Israel Aerospace Industries has developed a range of ground-based systems for detecting, tracking and disrupting UAVs that bring together technology already developed by the company's ELTA subsidiary. Lockheed Martin has also revealed its solution named Icarus, which uses plug and play radar and electro-optic systems as well as audio detection to detect and track the drone before jamming it. Raphael Advanced Defence Systems is proposing its Iron Beam High Energy Laser System, with the air defence radar acquiring the incoming drone before a thermal camera takes over the tracking ahead of it being engaged simultaneously by two lasers. Saab has announced that it, it has demonstrated its Giraffe air defence radar to the UK government in, in the counter drone role. While the Giraffe does not neutralise the threat, it can be linked to any number of weapon systems that could. For its part, Celex ES recently unveiled its Falcon Shield system, which uses a radar combined with electronic frequency monitoring to detect the illicit drone. These recently revealed systems represent just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the efforts that are currently ongoing in the field of counter drone technologies, with a number of companies now solely devoted to this issue. With drones becoming ever cheaper, capable and easier to operate, it looks like a field that is set to expand at an exponential rate over the coming years as a threat from rogue unmanned aircraft becomes ever more real.